any further ado, let's today I will be showing you how you can make Windows 10 faster. Without any further ado, let's get started. M. First, you'll need to click on Windows key plus R and open the run dialog box. Then you'll need to type in temp temp and click on enter and here there are a lot of junk files uh, which would probably make your pc slow so click on control plus a and all would be selected and right click and click on delete and click on do this for all current items and click continue so here then Again, you need to click on Windows key plus R and type in percentage temp percentage. And here also you would have a lot of junk files. So again, click on Control A, right click and click on delete. So there would be a lot and lot of items. Some files would be like undeletable, just ignore them. So then you need to again click on Windows key plus R and type in prefetch. That is P-R-E-F-E-T-C-H and click enter. And it would say something like this, ignore this and click continue. Again click on control A and delete everything. So after you delete this, I would be telling the next step to you. So the next step is so the next step is to run Windows Memory Diagnostics tool. For this, head over to the search bar and type in Windows Memory Diagnostic and open it. So basically, it's gonna open a dialog box stating "Check your computer for memory problems," and it will have two options. That is, restart now and check for problems. The second one is check for problems the next time I start my computer. So this is going to basically scan your RAM and check whether it has any problems because memory problems could seriously slow down your computer. Since this is going to restart my computer, I'm not going to do this currently. Offline scan. So the next step is to run a system scan. To do this, head over to Windows Security as Windows Defender and open it so scanning means it's going to check whether you have viruses on your computer because viruses could seriously slow down your computer for this click on virus and threat protection if if you want to scan fast click on quick scan if you want to do a full system scan click on scan options and here you'll have options like quick scan full scan custom scan microsoft defender offline scan i recommend you to run a full scan so this is going to program or check all the files on your computer and if any file has a virus it's going to alert you and it it's going to recommend you what all actions could be taken full scan takes more than an hour quick scan would take about 2 minutes custom scan would take like the time would depend on what files you choose this Microsoft Defender offline scan would restart your computer. Since this is going to take time, I'm not, not going to do it now, but I highly recommend you to do this since viruses could have serious impact on performance. So the next thing to do, so the next thing to do is remove unwanted applications. To do this, click Windows key and type in add or remove programs and open it. So here you'll have a list of all your apps installed on your computer and to uninstall it, click on any app and click the uninstall button. Since I don't have any unwanted apps, I'm not going to uninstall anything, but I highly recommend you to uninstall those apps which you don't use. Since they could also slow down your computer by running in the background, consuming disk space and all that stuff. So even I highly recommend you to uninstall all the unwanted apps. Computer, your disk will be. The next thing to do is running a disk checking. 
So head over to the search box, type in CMD, run it as administrator, and click yes. So here you need to type in chk dsk space slash f. So this would basically check your disk and it would repair it. If your disk has any hardware damage, Windows cannot do anything. If it has any software damage, like any virus or anything, it would fix it. So click on Y and click enter, and the next time you restart your computer, your disk will be checked. So even this problems could seriously impact your performance and would like slow your computer down. So I highly recommend you to do this almost every week. So the next thing to do, so the next thing to do is to run a system integrity check. To do this, head over to search bar and type in CMD and run this as administrator. And click yes. Then you need to type in SFC space slash scan now. So this is going to check for system integrity like any missing system files since they could lead to system instabilities. Since this, since this is going to take a lot of time, I'm not going to show it to you guys now. So the next thing to do is run a disk defragmentation utility. To do this, head over to the search bar, type in defrag, and here it would have an app called defragment and optimize drives and open it. So here you need to click on the drive you want to optimize and click on optimize. This is going to take a lot of time, so I will not be showing you in this video. So I'm going to stop it for you. So basically, this defragments your hard drive. You could search the Bing for what is defragmentation since it's a long thing. I'm, I'm not going to explain it to you now. So a warning to everyone. If you are using a SSD, I highly recommend do not do defragmentation as it could slow down SSDs. Do it only if you are using a hard drive. So mine is a hard drive, so I would be defragmenting it. If you are using a SSD or anything, I highly recommend you do not defragment SSDs. Thing to do is this thing to do is disable unwanted services. To do this, click on Windows key plus R, type in MS config, and go to the services tab. Here you have a lot of services. Click on hide all Microsoft services so that system services are not visible, since you should not dele delete or disable any system service. So here I have disabled a few services. Uh, since I need VirtualBox, Intel Content Protection, Graphics, and Bluetooth service, I've just enabled them. I don't need this Google Update, Team Viewer, and all those services. So I've stopped them. Since they run in the background and like play around and make my PC slower. So you can even disable system services, but that's highly not recommended since some services are very important to the system and would cause high instabilities. So be very careful while disabling services since they could brick your system and you might have to reinstall the operating system you're running. Next thing to do is, next thing to do is disable startup applications. So to do this, right click on the taskbar, click on task manager and and go to startup and disable the ones you don't want to like start in the startup since they slow down your booting process. So I've enabled only four which are very essential like Windows Security, Audio Manager, OneDrive because I need these four. The ones which I don't want to like st start with the startup, I've just disabled them since they slow down my startup process. So I don't recommend you to disable all. If you are facing serious issues, you could disable all. But I don't recommend you to disable security notification, your audio manager, and all those stuff. So if you are experiencing any problem, you can even delete or disable those. Anything. It's your wish. So 
I'll only enable those which I use the most. So the last and so the last and final thing that is do a fresh start that is reset your PC. If the following methods I told you didn't work, you can try resetting your PC by going to search and typing in reset your PC and click open. Here you'll get options like reset this PC, go back to previous version of Windows 10 advanced status. So if your PC is having very high instabilities and anything doesn't didn't solve the instability or slowdown issue, you could reset the PC. You could choose to keep your personal files or remove them completely. If your system is too old, I recommend you to remove everything completely and reset. If you are experiencing problem after any Windows update, you could roll back to any previous version of Windows 10. And if you are experiencing any other problems, you could go to the advanced startup and use any DVD or anything to repair your system. Like if you have any system restore points or anything, you can just recover it. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you like this video, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. So if I missed out anything or if you have any more tips like to how to fast up or speed up your computer, let me know down in the comments below or if I missed anything, let me know down in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to hit the like button and also don't forget to hit the bell icon near the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future videos. And I also recommend you to join my Discord server, link in the description. So, until next time guys, thank you.